Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 39 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where I'm grabbing looting on a gold sword that I just spent, eh, I guess, 29 attempts, maybe 30, uh, to get to get looting on, uh, but I got it, and that's what's up. So uh, the reason I want looting is I'm going to uh, need to do, actually put it all in there, I'm going to need to do uh, some stuff today, so let's get my... Enchantment extractor. Let's get some power. Okay, and then the books. And then we can extract this bad boy. So there is fire aspect, which we don't need, and looting, which I'll happily take. Cool. All right, so now with looting, I'll be able to apply looting to stuff. Specifically, I want to get uh, some wills going on. Uh, just the basic type of will. I don't think we need to get into like the whole multi-will system uh, from Blood Magic, but what we do need to do is get a Tardic Gem, because in order to progress, we need, uh, from Blood Magic, we need we need a Weak Blood Shard, right? And the only way to get that is with Saturated Tau, which we got last episode. But then we need a Sanguine Reverter, uh, and we also need an Alchemical Furnace, which that I don't think is too hard. I think we can get that one pretty easily. Uh, yeah, relatively. I think it's going to be a couple of you. And that should be cool. And then I just need my orb. Can the apprentice work? No, I guess not. I think it needs to be magicians. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so the sanguine reverter uh, that we need to make requires will in the Hellfire Forge. We need 350 of it. So here's the plan. I'm going to take one of the wills that I got from the dungeon last episode and make myself the basic Tardic Gem, okay? Um, and that can hold 64-ish, I want to say. Um, right? Is that the number it holds? Yeah, 64. And then tier 2 holds 256. That won't be enough. Tier 3 requires, or can hold 1024, which will be more than enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to uh, probably just, I'll just drop this one on the ground. And when I pick it up, it should go into the gem. Perfect. And now I'm going to go uh, make myself the sword from Blood Magic. This guy. Uh, so that's going to be an iron sword and a petty target gem. Easy peasy. So uh, I can throw this in here. I'll get another redstone, lapis, gold, and glass. Cool. And then an iron sword. Combine those two. And that should be a good time. And there's your sentient sword, which I'll use to get more wills. Uh, now I'm going to throw looting and sharpness on there so that it's a decent sword. Do I have an anvil handy in this room? Probably not, but I can make one. I might have one somewhere, I don't know, but this room has my experience in it, so. So you and you, you and you, and now we're good. I didn't perfect the whole experience thing. I don't super care. I can always get more if I need it. Uh, so now we've got looting three and sharpness on the sentient sword, which is what I need to use to kill mobs to get will. Uh, so I'm just gonna go somewhere. I guess it doesn't. I could I could either do it in my mob farm, but I don't want creepers blowing it up. But I did claim the chunks, so maybe that'll be okay. I guess we'll see. I'll just pop in here. You're running still. Yeah, that's a work, right? And if a creeper blows up, we'll see if uh, the protection thing. Right. And then once my will is fully charged, which is now, I can go upgrade this dude. Now, did somebody say that there's a way to do this? Oh yeah, look, it'll self it'll use itself to upgrade. That's cool. Nice. All right. And now I'm just gonna spend a few minutes off camera upgrading this guy to tier three, which as you can tell is not going to be a big problem. Yeah, creepers exploding is not a big deal. And clearly, my health is not going to be a problem. So I'm just going to kill a bunch of mobs off camera. Be right back.
All right, so this should get me the tier uh, three Tardic Gem, which can hold 1024. And then I'm going to go charge that up inside my dark room. I literally can't take damage. This is hilarious. Like, I'm just, there's nothing even like, I'm not even taking like a little bit of damage. Is this, is this my enchanted armor making? Is this my resistance to harm or what? Like, I'm not even taking a little bit. Like, not one. Half a heart damage. Ah, I should be close enough. Clean up all this junk from my inventory that I just got. All right, now I got this dude. So I should be able to make the Sanguine Reverter now, right? So that'll be any stone, iron, imbued, and shears. Any stone, iron, imbued, and shears. And I'm going to have to get this thing automated again, but shortly. Because my goal here is to quickly get this fully automated. Iron, imbued, and shears. Okay. Sanguine Reverter. One of these, I want to say, goes up here. And do you need the orb? No, you don't. Sweet. Big blood charge. That's cool. Then I can make this. And then you guys go up here. And then we should be able to get runes times, what is it, seven on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 28 runes, blank runes. There we go. And then a quickie exchanging gadget ready to go. And that should be cool. And we should now have a tier four altar. Boom, tier four. Cool. All right, now I can make the runes that I need to make the, the next tier of stuff. So I can take from blood magic. If it's not in here, then it's probably in here. I can upgrade this dude. I'm going to need two Dusk Runes, which is the tier four dude, right? So that's going to be a block of coal times two. So that's going to go here. I don't think it's this at the moment. Perfect. And then we need the tier four runes. Um, you're disabled by okay yeah i'm gonna need you to not extract for a sec because i want to create manually two tier four guys go sweet so i'm just gonna bump this guy back up to 40 and then what i want to do is turn all my well first i'm gonna make the ritual then we're gonna make a spawner then we're gonna turn all this stuff into sacrifice runes and then we should be fully automated if i'm not mistaken and then once we're fully automated i can get this guy back up and running okay so you're gonna go back in here you're gonna be reconfigured um to be probably around 25 mil uh, buckets is probably where I want to start the crafting at. Because that last fourth tier rune takes a little bit of LP, right? Now remember, we have to get the tier 5 slates. So we do have to get up to the tier 5 altar. Uh, and then we'll have to do the math on what a tier 5 slate looks like. I wish I knew which mod was causing my control plus shift to not work in this UI. Because it's supposed to be able to control shift click into a bucket at a time. And it's not. And it's driving me nuts. Uh, 30,000 LP to go from 4 to 5, um, and that would be 15 and 5 is 20, 22, 23. So we need a total of 53-ish, right? Um, so what I'll probably do is get enough capacity runes to get us up to 60, and then have it, you know, only insert on when we're at 55 or something like that. But first, let's get the other things going that I said I would do. 
So what I'm going to need, um, I know I'm going to need more ritual stones, and I probably don't have enough of them. Because um, I've got the Magician's Orb. I can get 24, but let's upgrade this guy real quick. And then what we're looking for... is well of suffering cool so i need in total 36 runes so i'm gonna need a few more so i'm just gonna reactivate this automation dude which should have you running again once you have enough lp and i'll be back in a few minutes once we get enough all right, let's see if I can pull this off real quick. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. It might because of my tick accelerating. Yeah, I shouldn't tick accelerate that portion. There we go. I tick accelerated the end of it. <laughs> Master Blood Orb, yay. Uh, so now I've got uh, the, the Master Ritual Stone. I've got the Ritual Stones themselves. You're gonna come down here and I'm probably going to want to clear out an area underneath this altar. Uh, if I remember correctly, the, the ritual is three blocks-ish tall. Uh, so I might want to do something like this. And if I did that, would that all fit? I feel like it would. Looks like it does, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure this thing's designed to fit right under the altar. I should have four stones done uh, or left when I'm done. Cool. Because I made an extra batch by mistake. Let's get my shrinky dink dude. Just so I can get in here. Okay. Cool. Did I put you in just an offset? No, you're you're in the right spot. Yeah, you're you're in the right spot. I hope this lever isn't affecting this ritual stone. Do you think it is? Might be, right? Might be. I'm not sure actually. Does the lever work that way? I have no idea. We're going to find out. Uh, so now to activate this ritual, uh, I remember we need a lot of LP. I forget exactly how much. Uh, I have 150,000, though. So if I were to try to activate him, let's see what happens. I now have 110,000. That wasn't so bad. Cool. Now, is he actually running, or is he not because of the lever? He may not be. If I turn you off for a sec... I forget if he uses LP when he harms mobs or or just passively. I guess only when he harms mobs. All right, cool. So the ritual should be up and running. It's ready to harm bad guys. Let's get uh, our, our destruction gadget here. And I'm going to void out uh, directly below this thing. Let's make it a 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four with a depth of, say, 6. Does this look like a nice room within which to have bad guys show up? I like that. Okay. Now here's a question. Do I need to bother with like all kinds of fancy mob spawner stuff? Or, or, uh, could I just have the following? You ready? So straight down from here. What if we had... Uh, I don't even know if I care about lighting down here, to be honest with you, because it shouldn't matter. But I have a plan for this. What if we had another mob duplicator from Industrial 4 going, right? And we got an ender tank with some mob essence, okay? And we had... We got our flux stuff. Let's get some laser IO nodes, because I know we're going to need a few of them. And that should be straightforward enough. And remember a couple episodes ago I got a witch? Yeah. What if we used that? Mob duplicator, right? And I don't even know if this needs to be as quite as big as it is. So what I might do is quickie undo that. Just so I can make it three, 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 three. Just a little bit smaller of an area. 
that should, that 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 feels a little bit better to me. Okay, so your job then is get some stone out of here. Will be let's have a laser I/O guy here. I'm gonna put a node here. On this side, we're gonna have power, but in extract mode. And a thousand architect should be enough, right? Up, insert, good. Let's get a tier two add on speed, you, you. And I might want an extra range add on. So that way, if we show working area, we'll see. Uh, show working area has been a little bit buggy, but you get the idea. And then down here, on the down, we can have, I don't need that to be that fast, so I'll just set it to this. And on the up can be insert. And now we're getting mob essence. Cool. I like it, right? And then I throw my witch in there and we should be golden. The only other thing I'll do is make this require a redstone signal so that I can turn it off if I ever need to. And then I'll put this back here. And now we've got witches. Sweet. Now are they doing the thing? Not yet. It might be because this is wrong. Yeah, and they they seeing me is bad, so I may need some kind of so let's do a dark kind of glass. They would be like, can they not see me through dark glass? I feel like that's the case. Glass, fruit glass, maybe they won't be able to see me through. Then we could do a building gadget. Because remember, witches will heal themselves. So I just don't want the whole poison situation happening. Like that. Leave a mute steps. Probably stone step. Ah, beautiful. Dude, that is the best muffler sound mod like one could ever ask for. Now are you so you are doing the harming of the witches here, right? And if I do and if I and if I check this, we're probably using LP. But if I do this, we're we're definitely pausing that. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I can handle that. I can I can fix that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a node there on its own redstone color channel. And then we'll make sure that it's only facing the correct direction, right? Am I out of nodes? No, I got a couple left before I have to make more. So on the opposite of this face, we'll have a Output on, let's say, I don't think I used pink yet. Output on pink. And then if I wanted the lever to be up here, maybe. Let's see, where's a good spot for this? Really doesn't super matter. I guess I could put the lever here. 
And then what we'll say is that we have another node. And on the up will be input on pink. So that if I flip the lever, that turns on, that connects to that, and then that turns that thing on, and then that stops the automation of the stuff, right? How cool is that? All right. Now, um, what we probably want to do is automate the orb going in here, right? So I'm going to take my master blood orb, and we're going to have a new setup thingy for the orb transfer. And basically, I'm going to make it so that when this signal is off, the white one, that means, well... No, when we have this, the black signal, right? So when black signal's on, that means we've made all the slates we want to make. So at that point, when we have black on, we want to put the orb in. And when black is off, we want to take the orb out, right? So what I'll do is I'll set up a new item channel. Let's call it yellow, okay? And then we'll filter this so that um, so we'll have yellow and then we'll have green right channels four and five so we'll extract on yellow the orb ignore NBT okay so master blood orb will come out when there's a low signal on black right because if black is off, we don't have enough slates. So we want to take the orb out when black is off. Okay. And then we'll want to insert on the green channel. Okay. Now, conversely, over here, we're going to want to filter Magician's Blood Orb. When black is high, we want to extract. So if we look at that laser, he should be disabled at the moment. He is. And that should be the yellow channel. And then you... No, that should be the green channel, right? Green is insert. Yeah, so make that the green channel. And then insert on the yellow channel. Cool. So if I put my orb in there... He's just going to sit there, right? Because currently we don't have enough slates, so the orb should be in here. Now, if I added a lever here to manually control the black channel, right? What I could do is have a redstone input on black with a lever. And when I turn this on, that's going to simulate having enough slates. And what that should do is put the orb in there to be recharged. Cool. Cool. And hopefully we're keeping up with the usage. See, we're, we're constantly refilling the altar because the witches, right? And then if I take out the or the, the slates and we don't have enough orb slates, it'll start crafting again. Cool? So let's turn this lever off so that he can start doing his crafting. That should be cool. And then we'll just be making reinforced slates. Now we're probably, surprisingly, we're actually keeping up. You know why? Because my watch is both tick accelerating the altar, but it's also tick accelerating the ritual stone. So that's actually working out pretty good. How cool is that? How cool is that? And then once we have enough slates, we should be in good shape, right? <clears throat> and I should add the tier four slates to the list here, but we'll add them in a minute. I kind of want to see the automation thing work the way I want it to. But this is actually working really well. And I can turn some of these self-sacrifice dudes into sacrifice dudes, which I'll probably do right now. Though I'm questioning if we even need it, to be fair. Should throw some speed upgrades there too. Um <clears throat> question if I need that as well. So how about how about eight speed upgrades? Okay. And we'll exchange and gadget that. 
and you should cover all of these. Beautiful. Okay. So what's up with the... Uh, you're dropping a bunch of junk too, aren't you, down there? That might be the problem. Yeah. So I think the problem is the number of item entities down there is probably blocking subsequent spawns. That would be a guess on my part. So let's do something about that. You're not having... Oh, you're also out of essence. Well, heavens to Betsy, there's your problem. So what I should do is have, like, a vacuum hopper dude. Yeah, I hear you. And a trash can. Because I just don't care about their drops, right? Like, I'm not even going to put it in the refined storage system. I just don't care that much. So what I'll do is turn you off. Get rid of you guys. And then we'll stick our trash can here. And show area. So what I'll want to do is move it to the, what direction is that? East. There we go. And maybe, maybe just up one just to be extra safe. All the items should be on the ground though, right? Yeah, I would think so. So if I did that, that should cover anything that's on the ground. See, I'm dropping the items and they're immediately, and then on the down, you will do items and that should be nice and cool. All right, so that gets rid of all the item entity spam that we don't want to have. Now to go figure out why our mob farm is not, oh, did I leave the thing off? I may have left the thing off when I was doing the thing stuff. I may have left that off. Did I, is that what I did? I probably did. Does it run with redstone signal? Or does it run with redstone signal? Yeah, that should be cool. Alright. Now we should be, you know, mob farming again. Cool. That works. Now witches will probably stay alive if I'm not tick accelerating things. Um because we definitely want mob souls to keep coming in as well. How am I doing with my mob soul thing? 47. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. So let's do this. Let's come out of shrink mode because that always messes with my perspective. If you play Minecraft for 10 years, used to being, you know, two blocks tall and you're suddenly one block tall, it's very noticeable. In fact, I need to go fix this. Hide area. There you go. Though I could leave it on so that I don't forget, but meh. There we go. Okay. So now you should be able to run again. Perfect. And you'll spawn a bunch of witches to make that happen. Eventually. If we get more mob essence. At some point, I assume we'll get more mob essence. Probably a combination of jelly babies and everything else. I'm curious, did I set up a priority on you? You're a priority of zero. So you're splitting your mob essence between this and that. So what I should probably consider is maybe making this a higher priority so that the mob essence goes into the ender tank first. That, that should be cool. Baiting if I want to speed this back up. I don't know. It'll mess with my mob soul bit. We'll see. Eventually, the witches should just fill up that area, and they shouldn't die, right? Unless I take accelerate the thing. All right, so we should get more witches eventually. So I think we'll be all right. We'll leave it as is and see what happens. Um, meanwhile, though, I can totally get more runes of sacrifice. So I already have eight of them, so that's cool. I now have nine. Do I have no more runes? You know what I could do? Uh, let's get... Exchanging gadget. One. This will quickly convert my 
thing to a tier three, but that's okay for a moment. And then you as well, I would say, right? That works. So that'll get me more LP per mob harmed by the ritual. Okay, so if we check this again, you should be now tier four, and you should be getting a lot more LP every time the ritual ticks, which is cool. Nice. And then as we get more witches in there, it'll be faster and faster. We just have to wait for a little bit of, you know, mob essence, which I could probably tick accelerate my way into. What I'll do is just temporarily turn you off and do this. Right? <laughs> So how'd that do for me? Did I get a lot of witches? I got a lot of witches. <laughs> I love it. And now we're getting lots of stuff. So that's cool. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I might throw a few more speed upgrades on there just to be safe. Uh, Cause we could probably just make some more blank runes. And then let's get some speed runes. Uh, I think I've got room for 10-ish, maybe five. We'll see. So if I wanted you to be speed runes, that would not be a problem. So I've got sacrifice all the way down there and I've got my augmented there and that stuff. Looks good to me, right? Okay. Now, if I wanted to get the tier five altar, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I just need how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 52. Is that the right math there? Uh, so runes. I've got 20 blanks. 21. I need 52. That might be one too many, but that's okay. I'll live. Okay. So we'll start with just doing blank runes, and then we'll expand from there. So for you, bump me up to a nice big size. So you can all be blanks. And again, we'll replace this in a minute with, you know, decent runes like speed and sacrifice and all that stuff. But let's just at least get the basics in place. And then you needed to be... Beacons, or is it the demonic block things? I forget. Where's that? Blood altars. Uh, Hellforge block at each corner. You have to go delving in deep into the demon realm for this rare and exotic metal. So I need Hellforge metal. Blah. So we have to go into the demon realm for that, don't we? This is this is the hard one now. This is where things start to get interesting. But at least you're working. Like you're doing a good job. Yeah. Because we've got that, we've got this. This should be fully automated. Like, this will always run. We will always have a lot of LP going on. Um, you know, we should be in pretty good shape here. I might make this number 32, to be honest with you. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Uh, Slate. Where's the tier three? How about we make that 32? That should be cool. I'm going to do it up here. Hopefully that's not take accelerating the ritual itself, but we'll find out. I just don't want the witches to die. I mean, if they do, it's not the end of the world, obviously. But, you know. 
I want to see this thing fill up. Because once it fills up, we'll know for sure if the blood orb thing is, is doing its job, right? So once we hit 32 imbued sticks, we should see the orb come out and go into the altar. And that's how we'll know things are truly working. All right, here goes nothing. 29. 31. So this should be the last little bit. Once he hits 32, the orb should go in there. If I set everything up. Woohoo, it did! Nice. Nice. And then if I steal one imbued slate, the orb comes out, the stone goes in, it crafts it up, and then the orb goes back. Huh? How cool is that? How cool is that? Love it. Very proud of it. Very happy. All right, so I think that's wrapping up point for the episode. So next episode, we have to go to the Demon Realm. We have to get some Hellforged uh, Steel or whatever it is so that we can get um, the Tier 5 Altar, right? So we need Hellforged Blocks, which we find in the Demon Realm. I think it's a different ritual. I'll get it going. Uh, and then next episode, we'll go through that. We'll get the Hellforged Blocks. We'll make our Tier 5 Altar. We'll just tweak this automation a little bit so that we uh, have enough resources to, to get the Tier 5 Slates. And then we will have all of our singularities taken care of. Um, once that's done, I'm going to start automating some of the stuff. Now, just to be clear, I'm probably not going to make all of the creative mode stuff. Uh, what I'll do is probably just, you know, make make some things, and then we'll see. You know, I don't want to. I don't want this to devolve into like just waiting for more and more singularities to come in. We may need to speed up some singularity production. Like for sure, I'm pretty confident I'm going to need to make the balloon guy better. Right. Pretty sure that one's probably still miserably bad. Yeah, I mean, we have one balloon singularity. Like, that's just not... Just, I don't know why I messed this up so badly. It just, it's not tick acceleratable. So what I'll probably have to do is... I'll probably throw it inside its own compact machine. And then make it, you know, something else. Because the balloon is just way too slow. Uh, we need a lot of balloons. And we make them very slowly. Which one's balloon? It is presumably this one. Oh yeah, we have two in there actually. You're just not extracting? What's going on? So on the opposite side, oh, <laughs> there you go. There's your problem. I forgot to make that an extract on orange. There we go. Well, I've got three, but still compared to everything else, which I have pretty much a stack of everything, uh, except for these guys, but that's okay. We're close to a stack of them. Yeah, we'll figure it out. For now, Double Twice signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.